My rule? <laughs> so just to quickly introduce ourselves, uh, oh, my name is Richie, I'm a radiology doctor based in Oxford. Okay. My name is Greg Indy, I'm one of the oncology doctors at the hospital next door. And my name's Alan, I'm a data scientist working at Nashby. You should. And we've been working on figuring out ways of promoting work-life balance <coughs> by redefining medical rotor management, hence the name Proto. And this is a problem which I think will be familiar to quite a few of you in the room, which I will hand over to Gagandhi <laughs> to give a demo of. So this is just to illustrate the problem. Uh, we all doctors the counter, I'm sure. Oh, you're calling me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one's picking up. This is. I've called five times today. I'm still, I'm Hello, still. who is this? Hello, I'm Gagany Palm of the Doctors. I'm going to be starting in your department soon. Oh, uh, okay. What's your name again? Gagaloo. I emailed you 12 months ago to say my wedding's coming up. But, um, <laughs> I'm on call um, on my wedding. Okay, let me check that for you. Are you still there? <laughs> oh yeah, you did send the email 12 months ago. But uh, we've published a rotor now, and so you're going to have to sort your own swap out. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Prize for acting. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> we may joke, but that, that is a, a common situation faced by lots of doctors, not just for their own weddings, but for any leave, for exam, for study leave, and just for annual leave. Planning your, your life was, when I first started working as a doctor, was probably the hardest thing. It wasn't telling patients and their loved ones that they were terminally ill, it wasn't trying to plan or like, diagnose issues in, in hospitals. You, you strained for five, six years to do that. That bit you can, you can kind of manage, but it's actually just managing your life. Um, and so the, the problem is, is how do we um, design better rotors for doctors? And currently the issue is, is that you have a rotor template and doctors are just assigned to a random rotor line. And we think there's a better way of doing that. I'm sure we've all got examples as doctors of things we've not been able to, to attend. So we have seen in the media recently, there's a big push on wellbeing and I think one well, of the biggest well-being aspects is actually being able to take your leave when you want it. Not miss uh, your wedding, obviously you can't miss your own wedding, but friends' weddings, big events uh, that you need to attend. Um, and it's been in the news recently as well, this is 2019 actually, but um, about doctors not being able to get the leave they want. So it should be a fundamental aspect of uh, HR, really. And, and why is this important for the patient? Well, well like a happier, well-rested doctor is a better doctor for patients. Um, and just generally for morale, it, it will have a knock-on effect on patients. So that's why it's important that doctors can take their leave um, just for themselves, for exams, for studying, for progression. Um, so yeah, that's why it's important. Over the, the last 24 hours, we've come up with, tried to come up with two solutions. One algorithm is a bit more simpler. The other one would, is work in progress. Um, well, they're both work in progress. So um, we'll just talk, I'll try and explain the first algorithm very, very simply. Um, <laughs> So currently you have a rotor template and um, different rotor lines. And so what this algorithm does is that it assigns each, doctor's, each doctor will input their preference of leave and then it will say for each rotor line, how many times will that leave be fulfilled? In other words, how many times will their annual leave clash with an on-call shift of which they cannot take leave on? And so it calculates the amount of times there is a clash in leave um, with, with the on-calls. Um, and from there, the algorithm, what it does, it identifies the best rotor line for each doctor. Um, and it, it is just a type of optimization algorithm. Um, and so what you can see on the left, it will find out. So for Dr. F, the best rotor line is line 4. For Dr. B, the best rotor line is line 2. And it calculates the amount of clash. Um, and so it gives you the best rotor overall. And so it means that when the rotor is published, you are set up on the best rotor line for your leave requests, which is a improvement on what we do currently. I'll hand you over for the second Thank solution. You. So uh, then we got a bit ambitious. And we thought, <laughs> what if not just trying to find the best rotor line for doctors, we try and come up with an algorithm that 
can come up with the rotor lines, come up with an entirely generated rotor that best fits all of the doctor's requests for leave, um, while filling all the shifts and complying with all the regulations that it has to, and ultimately trying to give the best work-life balance possible. Um, and the idea would be that you would have your doctors declaring their preferences in some sort of system, preferably via a web interface, so they can just go, I'm going to be there in six months' time, let's log on to their thing and put in, I won't leave those days. And you feed that with your regulation information, your, your well-being rules, your set of shifts to fill as specified by whoever's responsible for developing the rotor into an optimization algorithm and get out a suggested rotor that then said person can review and adjust because no algorithm is going to get it right first time on its own. Um, we're ambitious but not entirely overly optimistic. So, I did say we were ambitious. This is not a small challenge. Um, there are a huge number of potential rotors to consider. We're talking many, many millions or larger order of magnitude. Um, defined by very complex regulations, and behind all that, figuring out what is a good shift is itself non-trivial, and I imagine everyone here will have slightly different opinions on that. So, how do we solve it? Well, where we've got to so far is we've actually tried implementing this, coming up with something that can produce something that looks like a plausible rotor, not necessarily the nicest one, but uh, it's getting there. The idea is we code up as many of the regulations as we can. We've got things like mustn't have two shifts within, without an 11 hour break between them, mustn't go over 72 hours in a week, mustn't go over 48 hours on average per week in an eight week period, that sort of thing. We've also got the try and have as few clashes with people's preferred time off as possible. But there's so many more to it. Well, the way really to get this sort of thing to happen is to add it in bit by bit, try it out, get feedback, find out where we've made wrong assumptions or where people want things differently, and iterate and try it again. But the ultimate idea is that you would have something like Mike has thrown together where you could specify, right, here's my calendar coming forward, I want these days off. We get that information of who wants when off, we feed it in, and Ultimately, we come up with a better rotor. So, that's the idea. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, just in passing, somebody was mentioning, uh, and I think I was at on Friday morning, that they built something to be able to work out red. This is in Ireland. Uh, rotors for carers and assigned carers with, with tasks. And they were using some AI in there, I guess. The machine learning aspect of like running your, yeah. your, as you're saying, you're trying to get better to perfect faster. Was that a possibility for you, or were you doing that, or so, were you simplifying? So, so I think technically this is AI. It is. And, and I was the one in the group who said, "Don't so, call yeah. this AI because <laughs> this is farcical calling this AI." But. But it's exactly it is that. It's the and I, of AI. That's what I was thinking. Yes. yes, that you're not. I mean, you're not going to. It's not going to be a person that make a judgment about how good that rotor is. The machine will make the judgment about it and then iterate. Yeah. So don't sell yourself short. Yes, we have purposely <laughs> not been calling this one AI. Because, because that's yeah. a bad term. I agree. <laughs> uh, I also voted against calling it AI, but there's a lot of hype that, that word But there is, use. people will, and other people be, will be calling it AI, yeah. so. I'm all for fans, so that's a good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So judges. I believe um, the doctors has this theory of foundation year one, foundation year two, would your solution be able to determine that or a bit of a skill mix if there are? So, <laughs> So currently it's designed per rotor, per, per grade of doctor. So different grades of doctors have different rotors for simplicity's sake. So a consultant will be on a different rotor to uh, an SHO, to a first year doctor, to a registrar. So it's designed per grade of doctor, per rotor type. 
and it would differentiate between F1 and F2? That was your question. It was specifically about differentiating between F1 and F2. So we did look at this. Um, so in addition, when we've sort of perfected the first stage, which is a lot in itself, um, a lot of the times F1's uh, on the same verge as uh, okay. Dr. Spook F1. Um, and you can add in extra um, sort of uh, avenues in, in the software to say F1's can't do nights. So generate the rotors to make sure that F1 Doctor is not put on nights. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. Thank you. Any other questions? Judges, Matt, you get one question and I'm going to pay. <laughs> <laughs> you're not getting to do this again. No, you're great. <laughs> uh, which one shall I pick? Um, why? I mean, there's lots of rotor products out there in the market that try to do rod strain and rotor strain for, uh, in healthcare. Why do you think this is a problem that's still mm. unsolved? And and do you think that you're onto something? But I'll pass you to our colleague yeah. Mike, who's so the, the, the cynic here has to answer that. <laughs> yes. um, why? Because uh, shit rotors have absolutely zero financial impact on the, it's a really a duopoly of companies that make rotor solutions, um, and so why do I need to improve my product? The hospital's already bought it, they've got a contract with us for 10 years, um, doesn't really matter. Um, and hospitals don't all particularly appreciate the impact that shit rotors have on doctors. So that's why it's not been done. It's also a hard problem um, that so, so some of the group are more optimistic than others <laughs> yeah. uh, about how solvable this was in a weekend. Um, and as we progress the weekend, it, the, the, whilst it is a problem with edges, uh, it's quite a large problem that edges are quite far away because there's quite a lot of constraints, um, particularly with the, the regulations that you have to comply with in England with the current contract. Is it also a problem for nursing rotors? Uh, yes and no. Um, nursing rotors uh, have significantly less constraints. Um. Good nurses are a long way from that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if the nurses wouldn't have solved it already. Yeah, that's what we have. Um, so there's e rostering has been around for a long time, and there's also a thing called self rostering, and they're allowed to, like, in many patients do about 70% self-rostering and there'll be our rhythms behind to make sure you've got the right skill mix on the board. Was there a question down here? Yeah. I'll take your question and I'll take Peg's question and then come back up the front. Yeah. I think we had a discussion yesterday about the allocation of time for doctors to rotate to their colleagues. You know, people said between 0.5 and 1 sessions in a week. If this solution can avoid excessive clinical workload and work for doctors to organise their own rotors, what value or cost do you place behind a solution like this? Billions. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, so essentially your pro product to me strikes me as a, a, like an AI, right? Can you apply it reversely? So you use what your, your so the theory is your machine creates the perfect rotor taking anybody's concern into account. Can you apply that to existing rotas and identify actually why your rota design is shit because you're lacking this, 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 and if you compare it to the, my smart AI, you know, like apply it so you can use it to criticize or crit critique the existing. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I, uh, so I think our, our first solution is probably the closest to that. So the first solution was was trying to. Mm -hmm optimize doctors for an existing design rotor um, as in picking which um, one it is. Um, I guess you can always do other things. I guess the other thing that we have been avoiding mentioning is you can in theory optimize it for how to exploit doctors within the rules um, and not care for their well-being but maximize uh, their utilization within the rules uh, for the financial benefit of the trust so that they don't have to pay penalties or out of hours time or what have you. So um, there's, there's lots of things you can do with it unfortunately. <laughs> And the other point? Yeah, I can answer that. So, so you can answer your first question, what, what sort of financial, like what cost will I put on this type of product? I think in, in, our, in our eyes, it, you, we want doctors to have control over their time. If you just make it open source and available on the internet, then the maximum number of people can use it. I don't see administrative, administrative staff 
in most departments going out their way to use this. It's going to be doctors that have to lead the change in this. And it'll be doctors saying, actually, no, this is how we want our rotors. We're going to use this software. This is our rotor. We've fulfilled all the on-call requirements. You sort out the HR side of things. <coughs> That's how I see it happening. That's a bit of a policy form. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, last question. <laughs> uh, no, I think the, the whole thing about notices is a nightmare, isn't it? But uh, I was just wondering, is there a possibility of maybe uh, giving different weights to different types of leave to make it easier to, to generate a rotor? Yeah. So I have to go to my wedding, presumably. But I don't need to go on my stag do somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the things we were considering and we thought of a few different things, you know, some sort of numerical scale or a red, amber, green traffic lights, you know, red is if you don't give me this time off I'm not going to be here one way or the other, yeah. um, but we decided let's keep it simple to start with, let's just do leave or not leave. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much.